Hey guys, Dustin here, CEO of 630, and today I'm gonna introduce you to our newest product, our Every Journey electric tricycle rickshaw for passengers. Stick around. All right, so today I'm gonna introduce you to our new Every Journey electric tricycle rickshaw for passengers. You can see the seat right here. Before we get into this awesome new product, don't forget, Hit subscribe below, stay in touch with us here at 630, be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out, all the giveaways we do, and of course, our new product releases. So, this product has been a long time in the making. For a while, we've been wanting to make a tricycle to allow passengers to come along for the ride, and now we have done it. Our Every Journey electric tricycle passenger rickshaw. Let me go ahead and walk you through this product. Okay, so let's get right into it. So you can see we've used our traditional swooping frame. We wanted it still to be easy to get on and off for most riders. Um, very simple, you can step on the pedal, pull the brakes, mount and dismount, and then you're on. So, and also one thing I'll just point out is it's a very comfortable ride. It's got our, you know, traditional upright ergonomic riding position. The bars curve in. You see, I don't have to lean forward at all. Keep your body upright, really easy to steer and super comfortable. Now let's move back. We got our typical oversized seat, also very comfortable as well. And of course, uh, we have a quick release right here to move the seat up and down. And our sus suspension seat post. You're gonna have a lot of weight on this tricycle. The suspension seat post is nice because it's gonna move up and down over bumps. You can see as I put a little pressure on it. So. Again, just making it more comfortable as you ride, you go up and down, things like that. All right, let's make our way back to the back of the tricycle. Here is our seat. Uh, at the end here, we're gonna show you some more demonstration of how many riders this can fit. I've taken this out with my children. I have a six, a four, and a two-year-old. All three can fit here, and you can see we have a seat belt. In some of the photos we have in the white background, there's no seat belt, but just so you know, there is a seat belt and this can fit around, again, I will say three small children, um, probably up to the age of 10, or two adults that I would say are uh, small to average size adults, um, or you know, one larger adult, and maybe one larger adult, one small child. And you can use the seatbelt. I'll just go ahead and show you a quick demonstration. I can fit back here, no problem. It's not roll away here. And I can pull the seatbelt. And the seatbelt's adjustable, so I can go ahead and loosen it and click in. And you can see I am 5'10", about 220, and I've got enough room right here for one additional, you know, child that could fit there. All right, so let me go ahead and hop off. And it's actually pretty comfortable. Yes, you know, you're, you're a little bit close to the seat here, but not too bad. The benefit of that, what we wanted to try to create was something a little more compact. There's other rickshaws that exist uh, that you've probably seen in cities where people get towed around. The problem with that for at-home consumer use is it's going to be way too big. You know, with this size, it's actually not that much bigger than a standard tricycle. Um, I can keep this in my garage at home and it's not, it's not bad. It's almost just like a trike. Obviously, there's a little bit of an extension right here, but Again, it's, you know, it's not going to take up something where you've got this huge compartment in the back here. You can see the footrest right here, which is great. You can put your feet down and uh, rest your feet during your rides. You've got four inch tires in the front and the rear. Now here's the interesting thing that makes for complete stability and safety of this electric rickshaw trike. These are 20 inch in the rear and 24 inch in the front. And what that does is it sets the rear end a little bit lower than the front, creating a lower center of gravity in the back, making it easier to balance um, and safer on turns and just overall more of a stable ride. You can see when I ride this thing and you have passengers, it's stable, it's safe, doesn't feel like you're gonna tip over. Um, so it's, it's, it's good to have that lower center of gravity in the back here. Also with these, they're gonna be a nice cushy ride. And should you want to go on trails or something, you can do that. These are more of a rugged tire. Um, these are gonna really grip the pavement. Again, you don't wanna slide around. You don't want something that's gonna be dangerous. 
okay, now moving back, and we have the fenders obviously on the front and the rear, just gonna, you know, add a nice aesthetic and also prevent splash up, things like that. Under the seat here, in our production model, we are gonna have a basket, so there's gonna be mesh in here. Right now it's just open, but there will be mesh where you can store items under there, um, and they won't fall through. So that'll be great to take things on your ride. Um, now, let's get into the other benefit is disc brakes. We've got disc brakes in the front and the rear, and we've got a disc brake on both wheels here in the rear and on the front too. So you're gonna have really, really great stopping power. Honestly, when you pull these, the bike is gonna stop no problem. It's not gonna go anywhere. Again, when we built this and designed it, we had to make sure this could be safe enough to bring passengers so you could, you know, balance safely, stop safely, the whole nine yards. Okay, let's talk about the electronics and the range and everything like that. This is a 21 amp hour battery with Samsung cells. When we talk about the range, I'm gonna say up to 50 miles of range. It possibly could be more depending on if you use pedal assist, if you use the throttle, um, however you operate it. The reason the range is gonna vary so much on a rickshaw trike like this is going to be because of the passenger load. If you're riding a single passenger, you quite honestly, with this size battery, a 21 amp hour battery, you could get ranges up to 70 miles, 80 miles, if you're just in pedal assist. Now, if you're just using throttle, could be less. Keep in mind, you've got three tires touching the ground here, and these are four inch wide tires. So it's gonna be more drag on the battery. It's definitely gonna drain the battery faster than if you had less rubber hitting the road. Now, again, up to 500 pound capacity on this. We recommend up to 300 pounds on the seat here. If you're riding around at 500 pounds, battery's gonna drain quicker than if you're riding around at 200 pounds. So it's very hard for me to pinpoint an exact range. That's why we say up to 50 miles, but I've personally ridden this thing uh, 50 miles and I've still had a bar left on the battery. And it also depends on, are you using flat ground? Are you riding on major hills? Being on big hills with a heavy load is going to drain the battery faster. So you'll have to get familiar with your riding habits, where you're riding to get a feel for um, how long will the battery last. But this is a huge battery. We put a huge battery on it because you wanna take this trike out for some rides with you know um, a family member, a friend, your kids, whatever it may be, and you want that battery to last. Now let's move up here to the motor, which is in the front hub. This is a big 750 watt Bafong motor. Bafong has become well known in the e-bike motor space. You can see how large that thing is in the wheel. Having a front hub motor is great on these bikes for a couple reasons. One is, should the motor ever go out, if you own this for you know one, two, three, four, five years, motor goes out, replacing it's gonna be very easy. We would just send you a new front wheel, disconnect one cable, plug it in, put the wheel on, and you're off and running. So the long-term ownership and replacement is gonna be very simple and easy. And also this thing is super powerful. I'm gonna demonstrate for you in a minute. I've had three passengers on the back plus me and I've been able to hit 20 miles an hour with the throttle only. Now I don't recommend <coughs> obviously traveling at high speeds. The safety of your passenger is most important, but this motor is going to give you the power you need. Uh, you've got a light here in the front. You've also got your display right here. Go ahead and turn this on and show you. Um, you've got your battery, you've got it all charged up. <coughs> you've got your level of pedal assist here. <coughs> you've got your distance, your speed. And apparently we've got our temperature outside as well. <coughs> it's also gonna tell you your um, output when you're using the motor. And then if you come over here, this is your throttle. So you've got a pedal assist option and a throttle option on this. Uh, electric trike. So you can push this down. Let me go ahead and, <coughs> and heads up. And you can see it's going to move. Or you can do it in pedal assist. Or you can choose to not use the motor at all. So you can decide. Pedal assist, throttle, whatever you want to do. Um, throttle works great on flat ground. It's easy to use. You can use the throttle to get going, which is nice because sometimes with this, you know, getting started from a dead stop, <laughs> is gonna be a little bit challenging, so pushing the throttle is gonna be, you know, <clears throat> a super helpful way to get going very easily. And we've decided to go with brown accents, so our brown um, 
bench seat, our brown seat here for the rider, <clears throat> and our brown grips. And then you've got your two brakes up here. The other benefit <coughs> is you also have a seven speed derailleur. So the benefit of this is in pedal assist, if you're coming up hills, you have the gear ratio, so you can go into first gear. Also, if you wanna go faster, put it into seventh gear. So it's gonna give you that range when you're in pedal assist to decide what gear is best for you. And it just makes for a better riding experience. Actually riding this thing um, <clears throat> on a street, I'll go ahead and show you really quick, without using the motor, it's not, it really doesn't feel that difficult. So let me just show you right now. Now, obviously I don't have passengers, but <clears throat> right now I'm not using any assistance. And I'll demonstrate in a minute here with a passenger how you could also um, not, <clears throat> not use the motor. Okay, one last feature is also the front fork, which is a suspension fork. This is also great because you can choose if you want to lock it out. Lock it out means that you just basically eliminate the suspension element or you can have the suspension and this can move up and down. The beauty of that is honestly just creating a smoother, cushier ride for not only you, but your passengers. So the bike will absorb some of the bumps and uh, you know terrain and you won't feel the vibrations where if you have the fork locked out, you'll be able to go a little faster, roll a little smoother, but you're gonna feel vibrations throughout the frame a little bit more. So let me go ahead and just do a quick demo <clears throat> of me riding by myself and then we'll get some passengers on here for you. So if you wanna just uh, come a little closer. We have a little bell here too. So you're just gonna push this and we saw, you saw how it powered on. And I'm just gonna show you right now throttle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the throttle. And you can see this thing takes off. And the turning is easy. <clears throat> so it's, it's really nimble. Now the key to driving any trike is just knowing that you can actually do a zero turning radius. Okay, okay, now I'll just show you pedal assist, which I mean, it's gonna do basically the same thing. Let you start pedaling. In comes the motor. And we brake. And you can see I'm actually on a slight hill right here. So coming up here, I'm coming a little bit uphill. Click in, there goes pedal assist, and I'm cruising up the hill. <clears throat> okay, now let me go ahead and demonstrate with a single adult passenger. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got Alana with us. Alana's 5'1", about 110-ish pounds. We're gonna demonstrate her on the back with me at uh, 220, so we're at about 330 total pounds. We'll show you how easily uh, the rickshaw tricycle handles it. And then after that, we're gonna add another adult passenger. <clears throat> so if you wanna go ahead and get on, she can just demonstrate, she's got her seatbelt. Got it nice and tight. Yep, okay. feels good. <clears throat> now my turn. And I'll just go ahead and use the throttle. You can see this thing is very powerful. And with Alana on it, the motor doesn't even Come, coming back. How's the ride? It's great, smooth. <laughs> now let's do one more time. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and, <clears throat> let me just show you, I'm gonna turn the motor off. Now, no promises here, but we'll see how this performs without <laughs> the motor. And this is what, I mean, you can see, even without the motor, I can get her going pretty easily. Now this is a downhill. So let's 
try the uphill. Now this may be a little bit more difficult, but you can see I still can do it. But let me just go ahead and kick on that pedal assist. <laughs> ah, there we go. Much easier. And we're back. Okay, now let's throw one additional adult rider on the back and demonstrate that. Okay, so now we have Nate, who's normally behind the camera, and Alana. So I would consider these our small to average size <laughs> adults. <laughs> and oh, they can both get size. on there. If Alana might just slide over a little bit more for him. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, <clears throat> there we go. Now let's just go ahead and do the throttle again. How you guys feel? Very good. <laughs> Let's see the side angle. They're on there. And I'm just using the throttle. And no problem for the Every Journey electric tricycle. And the beauty is still going to have a great turning radius. And here we come. And let's get up this hill. Now, obviously, we're moving a little slower than we did with just Alana. And Nate, you weigh about 160. Yep. So we've got about 270 plus me. So we're at about 490 right now, and we're still doing okay. Okay, and let me now just demonstrate in no, let me turn the pedal assist off. Okay, so I can still get us downhill, obviously. Problem. Okay, now I'm turning. <laughs> <laughs> no pedal assist right now. Definitely a little harder getting up the hill. So let's go ahead and put this on. And there we go. Now we're cruising 490 pounds. Easily can do it. How's the ride? Great. <laughs> and we'll come to a stop. Okay, so there we go, our electric tricycle rickshaw for passengers. We actually have some other footage where we can put up right now. I put some children on here as well. Um, you can see from that it's easy to load them and cruise around. Now obviously, even with my three kids, the, the weight is going to be less than the two adults that we just carried. So again, no problem for children. You can buckle them in. It'll be a safe ride for them. <clears throat> and if you have any other questions at all about this e-trike, please comment below or email us the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. And if you're in the market for an electric trike for passengers, visit our website, 630.com. If you don't know what bike you're in the market for, take our proprietary body fit quiz. Only takes less than two minutes. Answer a few questions about your body and your life. And our proprietary algorithm will recommend the perfect e-bike or bike for you. In addition to that, we have a 30 day test ride your e-bike policy. If you don't love your e-bike in the first 30 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. And we're gonna warranty this for one year. So if you have any issues at all, we'll take care of everything within the first year. Battery, motor, you name it. So you don't have to worry about it because we know this is a more expensive product. We're here to take care of you. And we also have a full customer service team that's always available to answer your questions about any elements of this bike or any other bike should you own. In addition to that, join our community. You can join our Facebook Peddlers group or download our app. Great places to talk to existing 630 riders, hear about their experiences, uh, how they like their bikes, and also see how many miles they're logging on the app. In addition to that, after you have your bike, it's a great place to join. The app is a great place to track your rides and make friends. It's a lot of fun. So thank you for sticking around, and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.